And let's talk about Withering Waves 1.2. And the fact that it's a perfect patch. Yep, I said it. I said it. Dear Diamonds and fellow Diamonds in the Rough. 1.2 of Withering Waves is met with a lot of criticism. And I'm here today to counter some of that criticism and give you my point of view in Withering Waves 1.2. As honest as possible, because as we all know, over here on YouTube VXV Fiction or on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash VXV Fiction, is uncensored, unfiltered honesty. Uncircumcised too. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm circumcised, but you know, no one asked. Withering Waves 1.2 is, by a lot of people, considered a filler patch, okay? Is it a filler patch? Mother Fka, yes! And you know what? It is the perfect time for a filler patch. The units are lackluster, absolutely. Jeji, you guys said I should pronounce it Jeji. Jeji is fucking lackluster. Are we gonna sit here and pretend Jeji is not lackluster? She's adorable, she's cute. But beyond that, she doesn't have the same vibe as like the units we had in the past. Like, uh, you're not gonna compare her to a baddie like Chang Li or Yin Lin. You're not gonna do that. But she is here nonetheless. The second phase, no one gives a fuck <laughs> because we're all gonna get that character for free. Let's get that out out of the way Gishin could never SSR could never ZZZ Mike they could they could who knows I mean they can they have that ability now but let's see what they do so okay you have a not the best character kind of lackluster and then you have the character you're just gonna get for free anyway that no one is gonna see the animation of the fire star through his banner unless you get a fucking early which I highly doubt I feel like yo to that type one if you feel like you have a lot of copies of four stars type two if you're like man I ain't got no constellation or nothing 1.5 if you have sit here it's such and such and such because i don't know about y'all but like there's so little four star characters and it's like just you pulling you have so many copies it's insane so it's like you don't even have to pull in banners anymore like for me i feel like i have s6 everything that matters i got a uh, baiji s6 that was the last one that kind of fucked me up in my account though more teffy san hua Kauchi, fucking danjin like there's all these amazing units that are four stars like all of them i found myself having them all of them at six copies it's incredible it's insane it's just how much we got showered by pulls and just how much they just keep putting good decent four stars in banners it wasn't it's incredible i feel like like also the the small roster of four stars make them easier to complete more so than the bigger one like in Genshin's, in my opinion is incredible so okay let's go back to the nitty-gritty withering waves 1.2 is it a filler patch obviously yes is it the perfect time for a filler patch F yeah F yeah who the f f wants another baddie right the f now how the f f am i supposed to get shorekeeper in 1.3 when my ass just pulled for jinsi and chang lee what are y'all on about Y'all crazy? I don't know what y'all balling on. I don't know how much money you spent on this shit, but y'all must have different problems than us. Man, this is my account right now, post 1.1. This is what I have. You wanna know why? This bitch came out of nowhere because I just wanted to get an S6 uh, 5G and now this bitch came into my account. I didn't even ask for her. That kind of ruined my pity if I'm gonna be completely honest because I wanted to prepare for Shortkeeper and guarantee her. Now I gotta hope for the best, but that's just me losing to the gotcha trap. That's on me though. That's just me losing to a classic trap. I've never pulled for four stars, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't like this shit that you see in the banner, do not fall for these, okay? I suffer it's from success. It's not just a filler patch, it's darn good filler patch. Exactly. I feel like this is a good filler patch. Plus, okay, okay, let, let's, uh, y'all bitching about a filler patch. Y'all getting a free five star in that filler patch. In one point fucking two, they don't even need to do that. Y'all getting that. Y'all still bitching. Are y'all for real? You waited four years to get a five star standard character in Genshin. You didn't even wait a third of a year. You're already getting a one that's limited that's gonna probably be game-changing for Kalcharo mains. Oops, sorry. I have Kalcharo too. I picked him up. I just didn't have the time to level him, but now I guess I'm not gonna do that. So, why y'all bitching? Why are y'all complaining? I'm so confused. This is the perfect timing for a filler patch. Gacha games need to have filler patches. We need those. If we don't have filler patches, this is literally a stressful game. You you want to know what else is a stressful game? SSR. SSR, I feel like each patch, there's a unit that looks so damn fine. You just can't skip it. You just cannot skip it. You can't. I feel like it's just our each patch. I'm like, oh, I gotta scramble pulls. I gotta, I gotta please give me. And not, let's not even talk about the meta aspect of SSR. SSR has so many incredible units. It's like, I feel like I have to keep up. I think they want more but we need to calm down. Exactly, and we're gonna get that in 1.3. I feel like 1.3, the story's gonna pick up again. Shorekeeper is an incredibly fantastic looking unit. If the words on the streets are true, I feel like it's gonna be an amazing pickup for everybody's accounts. 
So it's like, you want to be prepared for that. Don't be like my dumbass and pull for four stars and randomly get this bitch. Save your pulls and get Shorekeeper in 1.3. The fantastic flashy unit. And plus, like, the story is going to pick up again because I feel like that's where we're going to go to a new zone and we're going to meet her. So it's like, you're going to get shit. But we had so much. Can I breathe? Can you stop riding me, bitch? My dick is getting desensitized here. I'm not feeling shit. Can we back up? Let me get some blood pumping so I can feel my junk. And then we can continue riding sure like and you need to ease off though you know what i'm saying hey chat type one if you let's cuddle for a bit that's what i'm saying let's cuddle for a bit shit you're going crazy out here bitch damn calm down yo chat type one if you agree type two if you disagree genuinely genuinely don't sugarcoat it i feel like we had so much it was too much like let's just take a breather let's calm down a little bit you know let's uh let's skip jiggy don't be like my dumbass. let's keep jiggy we're gonna get the second guy for free we're just chilling we're just chilling we good we good and then we 1.3 once we're ready let's go and we're met with a fantastic unit and new content so What's the problem? Why are y'all complaining? I folded and got Jiggy. Lucky you. I just, I didn't want this bitch. She chose me. And now I'm fucked because if I lose my damn 50-50 in 1.3, that's it. Genshin could. But Genshin better. That's it. Kuro, make it happen. Don't fail me, man. Don't fail. Don't make me hate this bitch more than I hate her right now. Make me love this bitch. Make me love this bitch. Because if I get Shorekeeper, I will love this bitch. I want Jiggy. I love Jiggy. What's so special about her, chat? Is she good? Is she actually good? I've seen, like, she has, like, uh, uh, different combos it's like you have to have do all this crazy shit i don't know she's good with jinsi yeah but that's it her gameplay is so cool they said like you need to do all these combos and stuff she's so adorable though she's so adorable okay let's see so wow her jiggles are what the fuck excuse me ma'am excuse me what the fuck i didn't know that What the fuck? <laughs> the jiggles are insane. By the way, chat, low key. I'm gonna say something that may be controversial, but the real gentlemen know what I'm talking about. This is the perfect size. Believe it. Believe it, ladies. Believe it. This, if you have this, you are perfect. You are perfect. That is the perfect size. This is crazy. These can kill me. By the way, th this is a weapon. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is actually a weapon, okay? You can die to these. You can't die to these. You can die to these. <laughs> these should be illegal. You should have, what's it called? You know like how people in America, you need a, a license or something to have a firearm. You should get some form of permission to get these. Yeah, because this is a weapon. I'm sorry. This is a weapon. This is beautiful. This is good. This is good. But you'll notice this is smaller than uh, Jeji. Like, uh, Jeji, she is perfect. Like This is the perfect size, ladies and gentlemen, especially the ladies. Trust me. If you want to do breast implants or whatever, just aim for something like this and you're perfect. Guaranteed. Anyway. Anyway. Wuthering Waves 1.2. So let's see what the f*** is happening in Wuthering Waves 1.2 before, before we go in more. So you got the themed events. I think this is cute as f***. This thing right here is cute as f***, in my opinion. I love it. Apparently, that's an event. I still have to do the yapping before I see what the f*** it is. But, hey, we'll take it. Free shit. Special event. Claim for free. You get the free five star. Genshin could never. SSR could never. ZZ could. Maybe. Who knows? Companion story. I mean, that's just a yap fest. I hear Chang Lee was great. I haven't done the Chang Lee one. I'm still curious about that. But maybe Cheji could be in the same level. Who knows? The Phantom Echo. The Phantom Dreamless. What the f*** does that mean? SSR had free ratio. Well, that was on 1.6, and they won some shit. Hey, it's, uh, it was, that's it. This is shit. It's 1.2, man. A new skin. This is a new skin for it. Oh, so wait. Does this mean they're changing the skin, or like you get to pick? This is like a shiny. Is this like a shiny? New shiny skin. Oh, so this is a shiny. Nice, nice. She blinging. She blinging. We take it. We take it. I do want to explore shinies again. I'm not going to lie. I found the, the saber tiger thing. I do want to explore shinies again. I really do. You get a 10 pull off this shit? Almost. Not bad. Man, if only they would have made it 10. This is the preparation of the Moonlight Festival. Wishes, the side quests and stuff. So 
for the anniversary, they did give us a free fire star, so we can't bitch. It would have been nice if it was an extra temple too. Oh my god, that would have been insane. Yeah, this is him. This is where they give us the uh, converging paths. They gave us bro. Okay, I want to talk about this real quick. I really do. I really do. Because this is starting to piss me the fuck off. Just do it like SSR. Why is Wuwa being cute? Why are you being cute? If you're going to do this, put the damn, uh, what's it called? Because I see you, Wuwa. Don't, don't be sneaking on me, man. Don't be sneaking on me. Put these two. Put these bitches two. Make it 15. Don't be sneaking fucking five-star standard pools and only five limited when SSR gives us 10 limited. You all know that we don't give a flying fuck about these. Very soon, these will be completely irrelevant. Very soon. We were showered by standard units. Because five pull on standard is good on weapon pulls. I agree. But okay, okay. Hey, let's look at my account structure real quick. I already have the free uh, standard, right? I got a free five-star uh, sword because it's the best one. Next, there's only the gun. That's also crit rate. I might get cosmic ripples because now I'm f <laughs> like rectifier. I don't have rectifiers. Like I have so much rectifier units. It's insane. I feel like there's a lot of rectifier units. Am I nuts? But besides that, okay, so you get the gun and you get the rectifier. But beyond that, it doesn't mean shit. It doesn't mean shit. And it's, if you get five-star weapons from the limited banner, like that's it. It doesn't matter as much. I'm sorry. So for me, if you're going to do this, that's fine. This is fine. If you want to keep the standard, that's fine. But add the weapon one as well, because that's also a unique currency that's limited to just that. So please make sure you add that here too, because this is lackluster. Pulls at 50% off from shop at the start of patch. That's not enough. I know, but that's not enough. That's sneaky. But yearly, if yearly speaking, that's not good. You get less than fucking Genshin. Imagine that shit. I'm sorry, no. You need both. I want, if you're going to put lustrous tides, I want the damn weapon shit here. 1.2 are enjoyable. Ground patch catching up. The fuck is happening here? Wait, it, the rover is literally looking? The rover is, this is genuinely the rover right now. He's looking. What the fuck? <laughs> rover is genuinely looking. What, <laughs> what? Is that her butt crack? It is. What the fuck? What? Excuse me? This isn't 1.2? No way. No way. This, this must be climbing animations and shit. No way. Yeah, this this is uh wait. It looks like a cutscene. This is a cutscene. I think this is a cutscene. This gotta be a cutscene. Not cutscene? <laughs> Man, if this was a cutscene, dude, it would have been insane. Oh dude. It would have been nuts. <laughs> what a shame, man. What a shame. God damn it. God damn it. Hey, it's cool, man. It's cool. It's cool. We, it's cool, man. Rex Lynch, we appreciate you, dude. We appreciate you, baby. Anyway, back to this shit. Again, Kuro, please add the weapon what if shit. They add a new standard weapon for the new continent. Like what? Like what? It's still too early, in my opinion. Add the damn weapon shit here, too. If you want to keep the standard shit, that's the way to do it. And that's how you compensate in the yearly outcome of how much we get per patch because we don't get monthly reset in the shop so make sure you do that please like we i'd appreciate it i really would just just add them here just throw them here okay people are just gonna keep slowly building pity for the weapon banner because most people like to get the character not the weapon so it's like it helps a lot just five hey you know what it's cool you did it for japan i'm pretty sure you can do it for all of us each patch i mean hey ain't that big a deal you're giving me five standard ones these shits are gonna be useless very soon so fix it real quick. Like, I, I believe this is going to be a problem in a few patches. Like, two patches later, guaranteed this is going to be a problem. A lot of people are going to look at this shit and go, man, I don't give a flying about this. So in my opinion, take care of that. I want to hear a bunch of Genshin dumb coming here going, well, we get more shit than you. Shut up. So new continent stuff, new content, Carnival and Slumberland, Open Phantom Echo Dream. Oh, so this is where you get the shiny. Nice, nice, nice. We take this. We take this. This is good. This is good. Fun fact, I missed out on the event of the Dreamless Elusive Realm thing. I thought it was just a new mode of the simulated universe, but it turns out it was an event. I did not know that. I just missed out on that shit. I could have got like a thousand primos and stuff. I just got like a hundred or something. Damn. I did not know. I didn't understand. I didn't understand. Without you, chat, I'm debuffed severely. Enter a special simulation domain and protect the devices from chasted discords attacks until they're eliminated. 
Okay, so I guess this is just an event. That's good. That's good. I think hopefully it's battle. Head to the Sonos screen. You'll be able to reduce your battle strength. Nice. A battle one. Good, good. We take those. Reprise of Tides. Eligible returning can claim corresponding rewards via... What do you mean? They need to update the game to where the standard pulls from leveling characters. That is a good point, Eero. That is a good point. Yeah. Where the F is that? Where the F is that? Where is our free standard shit? Like when I level a character, I mean, Genshin did it. I mean, dude, it's literally right there. Just copy paste it. After version 1.2 update, eligible returning reverse can claim. What does this mean? Returning after not logging in for 30 days. Oh, they have this shit. Yeah, no one is. Yeah, no, no one is going to care. No one's going to care. Also, isn't this low? Isn't this low? I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. I thought Genshin gives you a tempo or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure though. Consume waveless. This is good. This is good. These are always fun and good at the start while we still don't have materials. But once we do have leveled up everything, don't do these. Like the f***ing uh, Genshin shit. Like, uh, we, no one cares. So these are the banners. We got our girl, uh, Jeji. The, the four stars are decent. San Hua and Baiji are pretty decent. Bro, I like you, I'm not. When we have a Glacio main five-star damage dealer, someone other than Ling Yang. Sorry, Ling Yang. Ling Yang can't catch a break. Like, Ling Yang is just catching a barrage of L's. Bro literally has L in his name. Damn. Damn. Like, Ling Yang sucks. Damn. Imagine giving you a whole ass Glacio support and people are like, oh, just play her with Jinxie. Ling Yang sucks. <laughs> Damn. So the banner of Chiang Li Yao, you got Alto. Oh man, that's kind of interesting though. Yu Wang Wu and Dan Jin. Alto is a sneaky one. I wouldn't mind Alto, but I guess we'll have to skip, of course. Verity's handle. You got the uh, the weapons there for sure. Cool, cool, cool. And finally, we have after version one point two, you can complete the Pinner podcast and you get a bunch of stuff. The battle pass, I'm not gonna lie, is getting very interesting in uh, Woodring Waves. Okay, so. If you purchase it, you get five extra pulls and 400 asteroids, which equals seven pulls. You get seven limited pulls for 10 bucks. And plus like all the free shit. I mean, all the XP shit and stuff. That is not bad. That is not bad. What? Wait, do I get this too? What the fuck? Or do you get to, do you have to choose? So you get to choose whether you get the character or the weapon. Is that it? I wonder why so generous. What happened to four pulls? I know. You have to choose. No, no. F Damn it. That would have taken both. That would have been nice. But yeah, man. I mean, all in all, this is a patch. You just play casually. You just have a little bit of fun. You build your characters. It's about time you take a breather, right? I don't know about y'all, but I'm barely, barely keeping up with all my units and making them as good as possible. My Verena doesn't even have leveled up echoes. I only have this muff F because he's like the forecast and that's it. That's all I have, right? I just barely finished Yin Lin recently. And that shit, like they gave you like two uh, double, uh, double XP. It was pretty difficult. So like for me, this is a great opportunity to level up my Verena Echoes, take care of my Jeji and, you know, take my time. I've been on the low. I've been taking my time. I feel like I'm out of my mind, right? We just can take our time, build up on what we have, perfect what we have and get ready for 1.3. I feel like it's good breathing time. It's good breathing room for all of us players to relax a little bit. You know, work with what we have, perfect what we have, and keep going. This constant stimuli, in my opinion, just ruins the experience of these games. And these filler patches are needed, especially for free-to-plays, to save up on currency so that they can actually snipe the character they truly want. So for me, 1.2 is a perfect time for filler, in my opinion. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. Again, we stream. Well, I will come back to streaming. I feel like I should make a video and a little update on what's been happening with yours truly. But I do like to stream each and every day on twitch.tv forward slash VXV Fiction. If you would like to appear in one of these videos, throw some, some information around, etc. This is the place to be. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.